Last time on Game Grumps. It takes two to make this thing go! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Oh, that looked like, you know, when you see, like, the side, like, student driver on a, on a car, and you're like, oh, man, how bad can it be? <laughs> they just drive through a convenience store. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! All right, welcome back to Game Grumps, everybody. Welcome back to Game Grumps. It is a hot... Hot day. Oh, hell yeah. And not just because I'm next to Aaron. Yeah, it doesn't- it also doesn't help that I burned my fingers yesterday. Mmm. I have- I got a new stove, and, uh, I guess the backsplash gets hot. Oh, yes. And I didn't know that, so I- I was, like, doing something on the stove, and then I pressed my fingers on the backsplash, and, uh, boy oh boy. Would, uh, would you like one of these freshly refrigerated LaCroix? That I've got to hold. No, no. The it's only fine way I'm now. the only way I'm making it through today is because I'm holding this against my head, neck, chest, balls, and face. No, it's just blistery, you know. Okay. It's one of them popped. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, you for do that. You see it? No. <laughs> it's, all, oh, it's all gooey now. That does look painful. Yeah, all the goo is coming out. I'm sorry you're going for that. This one didn't pop. Going through that, not going for that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. You can kind of see. Wow. Through the light. I guess. Cooking is dangerous. Oh, I love it. It's like my favorite <laughs> thing. I like a little danger. All right, so where where are we here? Uh, we just finished the Goron uh, Chapel. Yes. And um, now I've got Unobo hanging out with me with his terrifying eyes. Yeah, yeah. I like this undead look. And his little his little dessert topping hair. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna head over to G Gerudo Valley now. I love it. Oh, man, is it time? Gerudo Valley, yeah. How exciting. And then, um... God, it's like visiting old friends. Yeah, right? Who you, and that, whoops. Who you haven't seen in a couple years. And, uh, but first... I gotta take a shit now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good one, Aaron. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, Can I just give you the Comedian of the Year Award <laughs> prize right now? But first, <laughs> I gotta take a shit. Crowd goes wild. Go take a shit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you, like, had that phase where you were really into saying that, and, like, <laughs> It was very funny, and then it became very not funny, and then it became hilarious <laughs> because of your relentless commitment to saying it all the time. <laughs> wow. I'm yeah. glad you remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. You can go above the rain. How cool. That's science. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, it, I don't believe it. <laughs> you don't believe in science? No, because the rain is from God, and nothing is higher than God. Mm, so true, so true, bestie. <laughs> I'd love to say I'm with you, but bestie is God. Hi, bestie. Oh, oh my God, so bestie true, bestie. Wow, I can just glide from one tower to the next tower. Look yeah. at me. Is it, um, what would the alternative be? Fast uh, travel? To get there. Oh, just kind of like run and through, yeah, through normal means. No, got no time for that. I want to go to this one. It's all in the middle of too. There's like Whoa. nothing going on. Did that happen on the capture? or Was that just on our TV? It was just on the TV. Okay, There's, I don't know. Everything went dark for a second. Yeah, it's mm. okay. I got existentially scared. <laughs> Some about the fucking new system. To, well, I guess it's not that new. Um. We have this- we have this system- It used to be, like, we had an Elgato, and we'd do it like, scrubs. We did that for like, eight years. And then Borf got this amazing system. I don't know what scrubs are. It's something you don't want none of. Okay, well, besides that. Besides a guy who can't get no love from me. Yeah, that's what a scrub is. Okay. I mean, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. You never heard- you never heard somebody be called a scrub before? No, I have. What does it have to do with televisions? Because we were functioning like scrubs. Oh, 
Oh, le- okay. I thought Scrubs was some kind of, like, specific thing that happens with TVs, like when, I don't know, when a screen changes or something? No, no, no. We used to do it with Scrubs. No, no, no. We were Scrubs because we were using an Elgato. Now I understand. To record our show for millions of people. I'm 30% embarrassed. Um, and it's like, you know, granted, Elgato's a nice system and all, but, um... I mean, it's the god. Or set us up with some, like, big, beefy, professional, whatever the fuck. So now we have some awesome, super redundant system with amazing technologies or some shit. Excellent. And that's the one that just went dark for a minute. Well, it's just got quirks. <laughs> cool. You know, it's got quirks. You have so many blue friends now that follow you around. I know, it's kind of like... It's like a Smurfs episode. That's way too many things on the screen. I know. It's like a Smurfs episode. <laughs> Remember I was saying, like, in those little cutscenes, or these- those little loading screens that I missed the- like, from Breath of the Wild, the camel and the- the, the various things you defeated, and it would have, like, the little icon of the animal walking. Yeah. Well, this game more than made up for it by having... Friends that hang out with you. Multiple actual animals that never leave you alone. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of nice because it's like, oh, I have friends, but it's kind of not nice because they don't fucking say anything. Yeah. They just go, <laughs> We're all alone together. <laughs> yeah, it's a book by Sh Shel Mary Shelkin or something? What's her name? Uh, that's the woman who wrote Frankenstein. No, not Mary Shelley. <laughs> Something shelkin. Alone together doesn't mean that you're alone, but you were stitched together from the corpses of various people. <laughs> Although I wish it did. Because I read that book. <laughs> and it was great. It was really good. By Mary Shelley. <laughs> this one's easy. Oh, that's the hammer part. Is it? So it oh my god. Dang. Okay. I guess you're doing railroad spikes. I forgot how to fucking use, use the materials here. Um, okay. And... Yeah, let's just wiggle that free, and then let's just get a little... Hammer going. Oh, cool. Hammer time! That is, a, like, a dangerous looking situation. Uh, well, luckily I'm not gonna be hitting with, with the spike side. Okay. Unless. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, what the so gooey. What the fuck? Yo, that's messed up, though. Oops. What? You need to create pins that will catch the ball. So do I have to... I, I, I would say put one on either side of where the ball is, yes? And that will capture it? I think I have to insert this into... The anal sphincter. All right. Yeah. Okay. I have to create like a, a merge point on this. Okay. There we go. Oh. Did it all in one fell swoop, as they say. And now you smack it away. And now you smack it towards the. Batter up! Oh, how cool! I totally misunderstood. I thought you were supposed to. Just stop the ball from rolling, oh. and then do things with it and throw it around. No, that would be stupid. No, you idiot. Um. <laughs> <Okay. Whoops>. <laughs> <laughs> that would be stupid. Up, oh, Cliff. <laughs> I, I thought there was a staircase there. I thought there was a staircase. There were. There were two. Oh man. I went down the staircase before, and I. Just thought, you know. Mm-hmm. Right, whoa. Yeah. Okay. I get, oh, well, I don't need to do that. Yeah, just insert it into a different point. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out. Huh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> Give it time. Soon. <laughs> This is what a colonoscopy feels like. Are you sure this is the right way to do it? No. Okay. I'm not at all. I somehow don't seem... Well... I guess we'll see. Come on. 
that just gonna bash it towards us? Whoops, didn't have my weapon out. Oh, there's a thing in the way. Let's try it oh. first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so I just gotta do it later on the... Oh man, I gotta fucking rotate it again. Mm -hmm. Such a fucking loser. No. Not yet. <laughs> Give it time. Yeah. You're so hung up on the future, dude. <laughs> okay, um... So, I want this to remain... Up. Up. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to place it like a, um... Like a little ramp? A ramp? No, I don't want to no? do that. Okay. I want to... Can I, like, spin this? I want I want to do the same thing that it's doing right now, but like in a different place. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I want to grab this and then spike it into the wall here. That's as high as it gets. Okay. Um, uh. Maybe like this. Yeah. Maybe like that. Well, I think it's gonna work go. just great. Fucking did it. All right. And now all we have to do is watch this and bask in the glow of our success. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have my weapon out. Oh wait, I'm using the strong one. I don't want to use that. This one's great. I beat the boss with this shit. Oh yeah, that, that, that's the t plus twenty-five one. Whoops. You just did it! Again! Hold on! And again! I forgot how to- I forgot <laughs> how to move it. I forgot how to move it, move it. Here we go. But you like to. <laughs> you wanted to. Fuck. Okay. Oh! Come on. Come on, Sheldon. Boom! Yeah. Well done, Aaron. Thank you. That was very, uh, intelligently laid out. Minky minks. Minky. <laughs> oh my god, minky. Oh my god, thank you so much. Mm. An energizing elixir. All that for a fucking energizing elixir? Just what a waste of my time. Monster. Energy drink. <laughs> yeah, it's all green and shit, too. <laughs> Even though actual monster is piss colored. Is that right? Yeah, 100%. Wow. It's like golden piss. Well, they certainly managed to, like, mislead you with the branding and the packaging. It's like that deep concerning, like, bronze <laughs> piss color. Like, I gotta call a doctor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, when you, pit, when you piss, it just gets, like, way too bubbly, and you're like, oh, man. Have I not drunk water in the last, like, six weeks? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, this is a problem for me. Mm. Ah, the light of blessing. You did it, Aaron. Thank you. You really did it. Mink you. <laughs> you have to stop that. Mink you. Okay. Mm All right. Excellent. Now time to get to the tower. Sorry, I got distracted by a shrine. Everybody. No. I, I just like fun. The shrines are good. And Plus, they, it gives me the stamina. Yeah, they're interesting. Ooh, hello. Okay. They're engaging mind puzzles. <laughs> so true, bestie. You are a mind freak. Mind freak. <laughs> So far away from that tree. <laughs> is that human giant? What is that? No, it's uh the Mind Freak show. It's like the actual opening to that show. Um, but it was on Catatonic Use. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. And like there's this part one part where like you know, for whatever reason, like he, I guess he was just feeling it, he like throws like this prop tree to the ground. <laughs> Some metal. And, yeah, and like one of the my favorite comments I've ever seen on any platform is so fire emoji when he throws that tree. <laughs> <laughs> the rules. Yeah, it's wonderful. Wait, 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 why can't I... Because what, because it's two at a time? That's fucked up. It, it, is that why I won't accept it? Oh, maybe I have to, like, put them in first. Oh, and then attach. I can't just, like, yeah. That's kind of fucked up, though, you know. Wait, what? Is it possible that this is not a spike acceptor? Spike 
accepted by my spike. Oh, it might not accept my spike. Huh. That's kind of fucked up. Oh. Wow, looks great. Well, the... Okay. That's what I wanted. Okay. Uh... Awesome work, Eric. This isn't working how I wanted it to. <laughs> Why is it doing that? It just kind of decides when it wants to attach? I don't know. Okay. Maybe we were like... Maybe it was that it was getting pushed in too far? Is it... Because it seems to attach only when it's like just the point. Maybe, I don't know, it's weird. It's just like... Oh, I just, it's not, it doesn't attach, it just goes in. Oh. Okay, 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 so I can do, okay. I can do it the way I was doing it. Okay. Man, I'm such a fucking moron. Why does anyone watch this show? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. I've been asking that question to myself quietly for ten years, but you know what? We're having fun, they're having fun. I didn't even know what I was doing eleven years ago. Yeah. Shove it in and then just let go and then just stays up there. Okay. Great, perfect. I was trying to stick it like the mechanic that it is. Yeah. But nope, I don't climb. Alright, here we go. Watch, there's gonna be another fucking energizing elixir or something worthless. I hope so. No, it's a uh, large sound nature. They're good. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's helpful. That's pretty good. <laughs> Who are these charges? Bro, I'm doing intermittent fasting right now, and mm -hmm. right now I'm... It's just about to hit eat time. Mm. And I gotta tell you, I'm fucking hungry. Yeah, I tried intermittent fasting, but I didn't like getting inside the intermittent... <laughs> I, was, I was so thrown off by the beginning because I was like, why would you do intermittent fasting? <laughs> yeah, the... <laughs> You're essentially a broom handle with hair. <laughs> you should be eating so much more. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is good for you, though. If you say so. I, I don't, like, keep up with any of those, uh, diety things. It's like, uh, it's just fasting in general is, uh, good for your gut. Really? Yeah, like a regular... Just, you know, just like a one or two day fast. We're talking not eating fasting. Right? Yeah, correct. Not just like the eating everything very quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fasting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It, I've been told that. I've, I used to try it for Yom Kippur, which is the Jewish Day of Atonement. Oh. Yeah. Um, are you saying O to that, or I was saying O to that, but then... Monster, Goblin, Macabre, Bog Goblin. <laughs> goblin, Macabre, Goblin, Macabre, Goblin, Bobble. <laughs> um, yeah, so, the idea is that, uh, John Stewart used to have a funny joke about it, it was like, So Yom Kippur, you don't eat for one day, and all your sin for the year is wiped clean. Beat that with your little Lent. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic John Stewart joke, but it is true, and uh, I used to try to do it. Damn. <laughs> um, but uh, it was too hard. By like 3 p.m. or 4 p.m., I was like, I'm hungry and upset. <laughs> well, I think that's the point. Really? Yeah, right? Is that why you've been so goddamn ornery lately? Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> really? I was just kidding, you haven't been ornery. Oh, okay. Or noticeably. You might just be holding it inside like most people. Uh, but yes, that's... I have been, like, a little sluggish the past few days. It's called Keto Flu. I'm also doing Keto. It, oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, God! <laughs> keto, for anyone who doesn't know, is where you eat a bunch of keys. <laughs> and, and then, then you shit out your toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then your toes fall off. Keto. Due to lack of nutrition. <laughs> um... Yeah, keto for anyone who doesn't know is is it's it's gone by many other names throughout history. Atkins diet, South Beach diet. Although those are a little slightly different, but mm. it's the same principles. So your high fat and protein diet, low carb diet. I do have to say, I um when we made that run to CVS very quickly, 
uh, I, I bought like these keto friendly um, Reese's peanut butter cup ripoffs, like yeah. the keto version of them. And I had a couple of them and I was like, yes, these do make me not want to eat these anymore. <laughs> So I guess in that respect, it's very effective. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's no sugar. It tastes bad. And then also, like, people try to cheat, and they do that, like, erythritol shit. Where they, uh, like, Try sugar, to add up stuff. Yeah, sugar alcohols and stuff, and mm. it's like... <clears throat> technically, it's zero carbs, because it's, like, not real sugar or whatever, but I don't... I don't think that's true. Mm. I think if it's sweet, it's just gonna be turned into carbs in your body. Mm. I'm not a fucking doctor. I know there's people that are gonna be like, Well, if you wanna hit your macros, like, whatever. Dude, I don't know what you said. I don't know what you think they're gonna say. <laughs> like, I just... All of it is words that I don't get. Anything, anything, a fucking artificial sweetener or whatever, technically zero calories or whatever, I don't think that's true. That's just my... non-sciencey, stupid fucking brain saying that, okay? Dope. So I'm avoiding- I'm avoiding sweet things. Do you, uh... Except for me. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Here all the sweet that I need! <laughs> okay, so, uh... <laughs> um... Do you feel like it's working? Oh yeah, I've lost like five pounds already. Way to go! Um... And it's- it's probably water weight, but... Uh... I'm sticking to it for the whole month. You know what I did not know? That was very surprising to me. I did not know you gain weight by retaining water after a long flight. Yes. Um, because our trainer had me get on a scale, and I was like five pounds heavier than I normally am, and I was like, hell yeah, I must do an extra fucking rep so at the weight room. He was like, no. It's, no. it's the flight. Yeah, yeah it's the flight. And like, sure enough, two days later it was gone. Yeah, that's why your like, feet get all swolly. Huh. Yeah. Pretty crazy shit. It's almost as if getting shot up into the sky for nine hours isn't the way humans were meant to live. <laughs> it's definitely, um... bad for you. Yeah, that's alright. And the environment. Mm. I think flying in general is just a bad time. But we wouldn't have been able to do the show for the peoples in Tokyo. I mean, that is true. And I wouldn't be able to go to Tokyo. Yeah. Which is the other thing. And I wouldn't be able to take my private jet around. Pissing out the side so it lands on poor people. That's not true. None of that's true. None of that's true. A private jet is so fucking expensive. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. I wonder how much it actually is. Whenever somebody's like, uh... Have you ever seen that clip from the guy from Community? On Larry King? Which guy? Um, Joel McHale? No, no. I've never seen Community, so I don't know what character he is. Chevy Chase? Donald Glover? No. Um, uh, Danny, the, oh god, I can't remember his name. Anyway, it's great, it's a okay. great clip where he's, Larry King's asking him, like, what's, what's a luxury you can't live without? Mm -hmm. And he's like, he's like, ah, oh, you know, a coffee, and he's like, coffee's not a luxury, you can get it anywhere. And he's like, I don't know, like a nice pair of socks. <laughs> and he's like, socks? What are you talking about? And he's like, okay, what's a luxury? And he's like, private jet. And he's like, Larry, I'm on DuckTales. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that, that is Danny. I can't remember his last name. He's great. Um, Very funny dude. <laughs> wow. Whoop. Wow, Aaron. You just, like, fell out of a private jet and forgot to open your parachute. Well, I ran out of parachute to open. Really? Yeah. Like completely? I thought I thought it would give me like a little last minute. Isn't there a very slow moving colored meter that shows you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. A private jet. I really don't appreciate it. The brand the price for a brand new private jet ranges from about three million dollars to six hundred and sixty million dollars. Oh god. And you have to hire a pilot. And you I have don't to fuel have it. either of those. <laughs> yeah, that's absurd. Can you imagine it. having three million dollars of disposable income to get a fucking private jet, and then they're like, yeah, I guess you could get the shittiest low-end model. <laughs> you're like, oh my god, this is everything I've ever worked for. Oh, uh, yeah. I've that, my, my brother used to be a, a pilot, hmm. so I've, I've been inside one, um, just on the ground, and... Yeah, it's like, it, 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 some of them feel a little, like, ugh. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> like, like a little rick, like a little rickety. Like, a little, like I don't know if I want to be on this when it's in the air. Like beginning of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom yeah. kind of thing. Well, I'm not talking like a, you know, like a with chicken coops. <laughs> <laughs> like a little, like a little hobbyist plane. I'm talking like a, you know, like an eight seater kind of whatever. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like I don't, I don't know if I feel safe in this. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I guess most of the plane crashes you hear about are the little private ones. Oh yeah. Well, it's like the the bigger the bigger planes like mitigate the like turbulence feel. Yes. Because tur it, 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 you never you hear about a plane going down because of turbulence. Like that's absurd. Um, it just feels like it's going to happen. Yeah, but like when you're in a smaller plane, uh. You really feel the turbulence. Huh. And it's like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> I mean, you look at those fucking like tornado watch people who just like fly through tornadoes or whatever. Yeah. Or hurricanes or whatever the fuck they do. I don't know. It's scary. I, I just watched a clip of a guy. They're in a car and they're. I guess they must have chased the tornado to be inside of it because they seem way too excited. They're like, what? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, well. I would be unconscious, probably shitting myself. <laughs> like, shitting, pissing, like, shitting, yeah, pissing. Yeah, whatever part of me is conscious enough of the outside world would be like, all right, you're gonna shit yourself now. <laughs> but the rest of me would be comatose. <laughs> comatose. <laughs> yeah, just like, un like unconscious. <laughs> just like splitting up sentences. <laughs> no, 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 stop. Toast, that's so dumb. <laughs> Split sentences, you know it is. Apostrophe toast. Have you noticed that um, using voice to text with new phones, like it just throws way more commas in there than necessary? Yeah, they're trying to get better at all that stuff. It's the same thing with. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sure you have a bit set up for no, this. No, no, I mean, it was mostly just like, hi, Aaron, comma. It's comma. Great to comma. <laughs> talk to you again. Well, it's because you're usually talking to it like that. It's like, hey, so I'm going to the store. That's how I talk to it. Probably. Um, because I'm a fucking old man. Practically a boomer at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who's above the age of three is currently a boomer. <laughs> that seems to be the way the internet feels. Um... Fuck, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. My- I have the problem where my phone... Uh... It, it auto-corrects into, like, horrifying typos. Uh, have, interesting. Has, has this done this for you? I don't think so. I, I think what happens is... I'll make a typo... And then it'll just be like... That's so fucked up, I don't even know what that is. Hmm. So I'm just gonna add this to my dictionary. Oh. And then if I type something that's close to it, then it'll just like correct it to yeah. this just like nonsense. Yes. Like fucking letters that are just- and then like spaces in between, it'll just be like, TTVY space GGY, and I'm yeah. like, what the fuck is yeah. this? Yeah, is this my Wi-Fi password? <laughs> Happening. Oh, my Wi-Fi password is always uh, give me Wi-Fi now P PLZ. It is not that. Anybody who wants to hack me. <laughs> it's actually not even true. Hot, hot Wi-Fi. That's my Wi-Fi password. Hot, hot Wi-Fi. Oh, it's Scrawny Clown Snatch. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows that. Ha-ha! <laughs> what was the joke? Like, trying to <laughs> screw you over? Like, if we lived in the same place, like, make you look weird to the neighbors? Like, I would get two Wi-Fi's, and one would be called Scrawny Clown Snatch, and the other one would be called Dan's Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite bits we've ever done on the show. <laughs> I can't believe that was, like, three Zeldas ago. Wow. Oh, God. Was it? Was there one between Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild? Maybe it was only two Zeldas. <laughs> Um, I, maybe it was. Did we do Majora's Mask after Skyward Sword? Dude, I don't fucking- do you think I keep track of my life like that? I don't know, I mean- I don't like, know anything just, about my life. It's just memories. It's literally my life. <laughs> no. 
That's beaches something every night. Beaches can't remember every it. Every single night. Oh, is it single? I can't remember. It's been a long time. Uh, oh, I should I should stabilize, bruh. We should write a response song called Literally My Death. <laughs> Literally my death. I'm rotting in the wet ground. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you had something for that, because I had nothing. I, I barely had something yeah. for it. <laughs> I, was, I was figuring it out as I went. Literally, my death is graveyard every single night, <laughs> and also every single day. <laughs> for all of eternity. <laughs> Literally, my death. This song isn't as fun as hers. Uh, no. Oh, it wants me to build a raft. <laughs> oh, cool. It wants me to build a raft. I'm just reading about raft building in the book I'm reading. What is the book? It's Journey to the Center of the Earth. Oh, why do they need to build a raft if they're going down? Great question, Aaron. I guess you'll just have to read it. Or you just tell me. Uh, I'll tell you off. I don't want to ruin it for anybody. What? That book's like a thousand years old! Only like 150. That's a long old. It's cool, man. People aren't worried about that's ruining like, Star Wars and it's like 40 years old. <laughs> it's a, that's a long old. <laughs> yeah. It's it's cool, man. He, There's he was, different kinds of old. Jules Verne was wonderful. He, uh... <laughs> he wrote... Journey to the center of the earth, 20,000 leagues under the sea, and around the world in 80 days. And it's like... Covering all the world uh, by, you know, land, sea, and underground. <laughs> and he's and he's also the sound that ca came out of my mouth when I was robbing my friend Vernon, and he was like, "What do you want from me, Jules Vernon?" <laughs> <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> Anyway, this is the last episode of Game Grumps. <laughs> thanks for joining us, yeah, everybody. Thanks, thanks. It's, it's been, been fun, really but trip. now that we've achieved the pinnacle of comedy, we're gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna go. Uh, spiky shield. Excellent. An aged, worn-out, garbagey wooden shield. Why the hell... This what is... would you like to replace? <laughs> this is terrible. What good shields would you like to get rid of? I mean, its durability is really high, so maybe that's... I don't... I don't want this. Cool. What a... What a piece of shit! Yeah, that's an ass shield. That's an ass shield. Except bro. it doesn't even cover your ass. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Were you drowning in these waters? No. Huh. So what's the point of this raft? I don't know. I guess I just don't have enough to swim across. Oh, interesting. Well, <laughs> that raft is gone anyway. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mm. Oh, Raru statue. Good to see you. So handsome, so chill. Could they put like some other shrines in these shrines? Oh, some other like like characters. They have so many cool all, characters. They're all to Roru and his beautiful wife, Sophia. I think. Oh my god. It's like that makes me want to be a furry just so I can, you know, go on. Just so I can. I'm listening. <laughs> Soap and hurt you, you know what I'm saying? You kind of lost me at the end there, but I was with you at furry. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. I'm gonna go straight to that tower, dude. This is towers galore. Oh wait, I can get my horse. Of course. Horseman! Oh. Horseman! 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 When we were at Tokyo Disney, um, and, uh, we did the Beauty and the Beast ride, Ooh. and Lumiere showed up. I, like, oh. without even thinking, I was like, IT'S CANDLEMAN! And everyone laughed at me. <laughs> 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 like, Man, I didn't even realize half you people spoke oh. English. <laughs> <laughs> IT'S CANDLEMAN! Ha 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 ha. Just kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know his name. I learned it later. Oh. <laughs> uh, did you just say scuttlebutt? Mm. It's fine. What a cool-looking horse. It's got like giraffe patterns. 
Lumiere ends up dating that, like, hot pants French maid. <laughs> oh, after he turns back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I yeah. think they were dating beforehand. Even when he was a candlestick? Yeah. Like, they were- they were together before the- before the transformation. Wait, what was she? She was a broom. Oh, or a that's mop fine. or something. That's fine. So I'm cool with interracial yeah, marriage. <laughs> <laughs> they were both sticky, you know. Yeah, I guess so. So I guess they kind of had they had something in common. Yeah. What wh what was the deal there? He had the, to be the, careful getting close to her bristles. The, the curse. Oh, I meant just that the curse that the beast is under it affects everyone. Like it turns the rest of them into. Objects? Is that what it was? Yeah, which is kind of fucked up. A little bit. It's like, what did they do? Yeah. They- they got paid to... Probably shitty wages to serve the beast. Dude, it's like the internet. Like... You're responsible for every action that everyone you've ever taken a picture with <laughs> does. And so they were just working for a guy, and uh, he pissed someone off, and it's like, boom, now you're a teacup for the rest of your life. Yeah, and they seem pretty cool about it. I guess you gotta accept fate at some which, point. Which is like, because they're like, oh, the beast, he's our, he's our guy. And it's like, yeah. is he? <laughs> he seems like a piece of shit. Seems like he put you all in a fairly precarious situation. Yeah. Huh. Now you're all, like, candlesticks and teacups and shit. Fine, Gina. Can't, can't even, <laughs> can't even go home. <laughs> Fine, Gina. <laughs> So many vaginas! <laughs> like a bull in a china shop! <laughs> oh, a tear of something. Oh. Hand? <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting a call. Uh. Come on. <laughs> He just, he just like eats it like an astronaut. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Floating liquid. <laughs> Orange juice. Oh no, it was a memory. I have to wait till I pass that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking the toilet for memories. <laughs> Her. Take it in portrait mode. <laughs> Me and my dance crew are ready to take this town. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, there's just like no I part of him that's will cool. Bow down before me. I mean, that's not cool. Sorry, I was thinking of Matt Mercer. <laughs> Matt Mercer's all cool, which is ironic that they chose him to play Ganon. Well, Ganon's awesome. He's super not cool. What are you talking about? He's, he's so fucking he's cool. He's very evil. Yeah, he's evil. It's also fucking cool. Yeah. Position. It's more than we thought. It's a swarm. Those are called Balduga. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Dodongas. Oh, right, they're the Dodongas. <laughs> there's many of them, but why would they? I'm so sad. I'm crying. I'm crying more. <laughs> I'm crying four times as much as you. Stop crying. <laughs> Everyone, pull it together. <laughs> So pretty. That's how he's. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get your eyeshadow? He's saying a prayer to be able to hold his neck up with all that hair. <laughs> what the fuck? You can do it too. I guess. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> it hurts. What the hell are you doing back there? <laughs> Right up here. This is the church. This is the steeple. Open the door and see all the people! <laughs> oh my god, he did the this is the church spell! <laughs> oh my god. That blast wiped out all the Molduga. How is that possible? Murderer! <laughs> <laughs> we will eat for days. Well, fuck. Um, plan Can B. <laughs> So brute force will not be enough. What about cute force? <laughs> He's gonna try cute force. I can feel it. The secret stone of the zona. He's putting on his Hello Kitty headphones. <laughs> yeah. How My eyes are very good. Cool. Well, good job, Raru. 
Raru. It's nice to see a memory where Raru did well instead of all the others where he's getting overwhelmed and destroyed. That's so true. Wow, he really fucking owned them. Yeah. <laughs> that hole's like, wait, but water. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? <laughs> okay, onward to the fucking tower then. All right, cool. Uh, Reset camera, soothe. Whoa. <laughs> and go. Yeah, I love those uh, action choices. The four pinnacles of humanity. <laughs> I consider myself more of a soothe, while you're a bit of a go! <laughs> nah, I'm a woe. You're a woe. I thought so, I was just testing you. Man, this guy only has two fucking stirrups, man. I need more than that. Oh, fuck, I'm the river. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. Is there a fucking bridge? Man, this horse is more of a burden than I thought it would be. These horses are chores. Of course, of course. It's this YouTuber H Bomber guy. Mm -hmm. He has this running bit where horses aren't real. <laughs> it's very funny. It's an odd thing to commit to. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure it is funny. <laughs> he wrote this fucking terrible song that's like, No more horses. You don't exist. There's so much on YouTube that I'm unaware of. Like, probably 98% of it. The only thing I know horse related is the guy who sits in his bathtub with a horse mask and plays drums on a bucket. Yeah? You know that guy? I I don't. He's an outstanding drummer, whoever he is. Yeah, you gotta be to pull that off. Oh, oh. god. Wow. Rock base! Yeah. You uh I like the way you shot that second one, you were like, yeah, bitch, that's how it is from now on. And then the whole base got up. <laughs> <laughs> He's falling off of rock base. Okay. See ya, dudes. You guys deal with your own battle, Talus. I got the hills of Balmir to deal with. Okay. Oh my, oh my, rock. <laughs> Falling. Uh, uh. me down. <laughs> okay. I wonder what that would look like on sheet notation. What the lyrics? The, the notes of it, the way he sings. Oh. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he is a good singer, so like. Yeah. Whoops. 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 Mm bop to mm bop to e bop. <laughs> and quarter rest. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Anyone here? Please, guys, please get out of the way. Wait, oh that, yeah, can you you can roll your friend? That didn't work. Yeah, I think it's because of the water. He did in the water and he stopped. Oh, uh, let's go. Boom, baby. Hey, what's up? Oh my God, prisoners! Whoa, oh. soothe him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna reset camera real quick. <laughs> You! What are you doing in a place like this? I don't know, we'll find out next time on Game Grumps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! His life force is draining from his body!